G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. If you guys are anything like me, you're already sick of this off season despite only being a few weeks in. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look back at the season that was in 2019 and taking note of some of the particularly wacky results we had this year. At the start of every season, we are often taken aback by all the upsets that seem to be happening, but by the middle of the season, the ladder starts to establish itself and we realise some teams are just unexpectedly better or worse now. But in this video, I'm going to be looking back at 2019 and picking out some of the weirdest results of this season. The results that with the benefit of hindsight, still appear rather inexplicable. The wacky results started in round 1, when the Dockers hosted North Melbourne at Optus Stadium. Having finished 13th the season before, below North Melbourne, few expected Fremantle to smash the Roos to the tune of 88 points. Perhaps this would be a new dawn for Fremantle, but alas, they would finish below North Melbourne once again in 2019. Having finished bottom 4 in 2018, you could be forgiven for expecting the Bulldogs clash against the Gold Coast at Marvel Stadium in Round 3 to be an evenly matched contest. And that's exactly what it was, with the Suns winning a low-scoring arm wrestle by 5 points away from home. Now that we know the Suns were distant wooden spooners this year, and that the Dogs finished 7th and played finals, this result seems pretty peculiar in hindsight. Collingwood may well have started as favourites against the Lions at the Gabba in Round 5, but few probably expected them to win the game by more than 10 goals. Given that Brisbane finished second and two spots ahead of the Pies this year, the fact that they lost this game is a bit of a head-scratcher. In the same week, the reigning Premier's West Coast hosted Port Adelaide in Perth and were slaughtered in the wet. The Power, of course, went on to finish 10th and miss finals. The very next day, the Dockers pulled off a major upset beating the Giants in Canberra by four goals. For about six weeks, the wacky results settled down until North Melbourne took on Richmond at Marvel Stadium. The struggling Roos battered the eventual Premiers by more than six goals, although this result was partly explained by Richmond's horrid injury luck in the first half of the season. In the same round, Fremantle pulled off yet another upset by stunning the Magpies by four points at the MCG. The Dockers proved to be one of the most unpredictable teams of season 2019, having beat four of the top six and having lost to four of the bottom five over the course of the season. A week later, the Adelaide Crows dealt the Tigers a six goal loss. Again, this is partially explained by Richmond's bad injury run and drop in form mid-year, but given how poor Adelaide were at times this year, this result is still a strange one. In the same week, the Saints also bizarrely repeated history in their win over the Suns in Queensland. They overcame a 31 point deficit to break Gold Coast hearts, exactly mirroring their efforts in the same fixture last season. In round 15, the Roos upset the Magpies by 44 points at Marvel. While upsets happen all the time in footy, it's still incredible to think that the eventual 12th places in North Melbourne managed to keep the Premiership contending Pies to their lowest score in over 24 years. In round 20, we saw two teams competing for a spot in the eight come together in Essendon and Port Adelaide. The Bombers were the more highly fancied side, with one hand already on a top eight spot, and yet they were inexplicably trounced at home by the power by 10 goals. This would have been the most bizarre result for the season, if not for the even more baffling results the following week. The Bombers again came up against a side lower on the ladder than them at the time, and were at one point trailing 14 to 137, to eventually lose the game by 104 points. Even a bad injury run doesn't excuse that one. Earlier in the round, the Giants took on the Hawks in Canberra. The fact that it snowed wasn't the only incredible part of the game, as the Hawks, who missed finals in 2019, smashed the eventual grand finalists by 11 goals and kept them to a total score of just 29. A fortnight after the power talked to the Bombers at their home ground, they returned to the scene of the crime to take on North Melbourne in round 22. With the top 8 spot on the line, many expected the power to repeat their heroics against the lower placed Roos. Instead, they were battered by an incredible 86 points to effectively end their relevance in 2019. The Bulldogs then travelled away to Giant Stadium and shocked many with a dominant 61 point win to make finals a realistic proposition for them. The last weird result for the 2019 season proved ultimately decisive in determining the Premiership race. The Eagles were widely considered the best challenger to Richmond for the flag going into the final round, and a win over Hawthorne would lock in a top four spot for the reigning Premiers. Alas, their season was ruined by a rampaging Hawthorne side with virtually nothing to play for, losing the game convincingly by six goals. The Hawks would finish the season a game outside the top eight, while the Eagles slipped into fifth and effectively out of Premiership calculations. So there you have it guys, 18 weird results from the 2019 AFL season. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments, and feel free to nominate some games you thought I missed. 
If you're new to the True Footy YouTube channel, make sure you hit subscribe for more AFL content like this. Thanks guys, bye for now.